TV is an amazing babysitter. Plop your kid in front of the thing and he can't even hear you. Could you please do that someplace else? I was here first. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. 911 emergency operator 62. <laughs> Wait. The ambulance is on the way while I am speaking to you. What, what, why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm doing this because of you, Ned. If you end it all, I don't get my wings. Okay, I've seen this movie. I'm, I'm being punked, right? This is reality, Dad. Mom, can That's we have some popcorn? And we like our TV. Percent of kids under six who watch TV every day, 77%. Hours spent on TV plus computers by kids under two every day, two hours, five minutes. Hours spent watching TV every day by Americans aged two and older, four hours, 49 minutes. There's only one problem. TV is not a great nanny. In fact, it may be the babysitter from hell for kids under age two. The American Association of Pediatricians recommends you keep it off in your child's first few years of life, and they may be onto something. One study showed that every hour of TV watched by children under four increased by 9% the risk that they would bully other kids when they got to school. Every hour of TV watched by children under three increased by 10% the risk that they would have an attentional disorder by the first grade. So a kid who watches three hours of TV a day is 30% more likely to have these problems. I'm John Medina, author of Brain Rules for Baby. How much TV should you let your child watch? If your child is under two, the answer is zero. I know that's hard to hear. Exhausted parents just need one tiny break. The real answer? cultivating a community of friends and family who help each other. Without that, you may just have to limit TV as best you can. An overwhelmed parent is no good to a baby either. Now, not all TV is bad. After age five, the jury is out about harmful effects. In fact, there may be some benefit. Certain TV shows, especially if they allow for interaction, can improve a child's brain performance in these later years. But moderation is still key. That's because the brain loves exercise, and watching TV is, well, not much exercise. Learn more about raising smart, happy children at brainrules.net.